Welcome back to another episode of Kicked. I'm Amy Lee Sprayer, taking you on your weekly journey through the wacky, wild, and wonderful world of gaming on Kickstarter. We've got three games to talk about this week, but first, one quick update on one of the games we featured last week. Tomb of Tyrants actually got successfully funded last night, uh, so you can look forward to that in the future if you were lucky enough like me to back the game. Uh, the developer is doing Twitch streams showing some of the design and offering the opportunity for those who backed at a level where they get to design characters or items in the game. Uh, you get a chance to interact with him, maybe bounce some ideas off of his head, things like that. Uh, so you're definitely welcome to go check that out if you want to check out his Twitch channel, but congratulations to them on a successful campaign. Our first game this week is called A Panalepsis, and it's going to be a point-and-click adventure game that's going to be narrative-driven. It follows three different characters during three different time periods, all set about 20 years apart for each section. So it's set in 1993, 2013, and 2033. It's a game that's, which we're hoping to provide some commentary on life and technology. Um, you follow these three different characters, try and figure out how their stories are linked, and kind of connect the dots between what happens between each section of the story. Um, They've already been funded at uh, $4,000, which was their goal, but they've already uh, hit almost $7,000. Their stretch goals are going to allow for more um, interconnectedness between the storylines, some new NPCs that might fill in some gaps that they originally thought they weren't going to be able to include. Um, so they're just really hoping to expand the game further. So if you're interested in something like this, I highly recommend checking them out. Our next game is called The Whole Story, as in H-O-L-E. Our story follows a young aspiring archaeologist named Wendy, who is digging in her backyard where sh when she and her trusty shovel accidentally get sent back in time. In order to return to the present, she must rescue a princess and help out a whole bunch of people along the way. This game was part of the Girls Make Games 2014 competition, which challenged groups of young female programmers and game designers to design a game, and it was judged by a uh, panel of industry experts. Uh, this team was made up of girls ranging in ages from 10 to 16, um, and they're hoping as the winners to make their game a reality. They've already uh, met their funding goal of $10,000, uh, but they've already made it to $16,250. With some of their stretch goals, they're hoping to add a developer's diary, uh, some console versions, and customizable characters. So if you'd like to help out some aspiring game designers, I highly recommend checking out their campaign. Our final game this week is called Fire with Fire, and it's an online tower defense strategy game. You'll be able to play either a story mode or a competitive online component, and the cool thing about this game is they're trying to support a slew of different devices, so you can play on both tablets and PCs, and you can play against anyone on either. Their idea is to strategize your towers and creeps to counter what your opponent has given out. Basically, there's a whole slew of weaknesses and strengths that each set of creeps will give out, and your idea is to kind of optimize your team. Uh, using their different towers and creeps will gain them experience, which means you can unlock new combos and power up everything. Your idea is to defend your home base, called a tree, uh, which will drop fruits that you can use as buffs throughout the game. They have seven days left to go, and they've currently uh, raised about $4,800 of their $10,000 goal. So if you'd like to see this game be made into reality, go and help them out. Well, that's all I have for this week. You can find links to all the campaigns we discussed this week in the description below. And please, check out InvisibleGamer.net. It's the site I work with to produce this show. We've got all sorts of content on there updating daily, which you are more than welcome to check out. Uh, if you liked any of the games I discussed this week, please drop me a comment below and uh, let me know what you like so I can try to feature more of that in the future. You can also find me on Twitter at AEBrighter as well as InvisibleGamer on both Twitter and Facebook. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next week.